We are Nick and Beck, and this is our van, Valerie. We're currently in BC, traveling toward the Okanagan Valley in this week's episode. In 900 meters, turn right on Meadowview Road. We visited my old family's property and met the new owners, and they've graciously lent us some kayaks to um, kayak down the river and then back to their place, so. Consider subscribing to join our adventures every single week. We're at camp, little kayak setup, and uh, well, here we are. So we're in British Columbia. Um, you guys have seen the drone footage where we are. It's very pretty. Um, there's not many places like this that we found where you know you get to camp on the side of a lake. And uh, no, we don't have it to ourselves, but it's a big spot, and we basically have more than enough room over here to ourselves that you could just say we're here alone. So anyway, it's very pretty though. It's quite a spot. It's just a little smoky, but. So we started our morning off right. We got coffee. Becky's making some fried eggs. We're gonna make some wraps for breakfast. I have been sitting here, you know, writing in my journal like I do every day. And uh, we're just starting the day off right. So it's gonna be a good day. I think we're going to go south in BC today towards Kamloops. Uh, it's about a three and a half hour drive. I truly don't really know what's on the way. Uh, we are gonna have to look at a map. We kinda, we've looked at a map enough to figure out how far we wanna go each day, but we don't exactly know what to stop at on the way. So, tomorrow's gonna be a cool day. We got lots to see tomorrow. Today, we're just kinda getting to the location where we get to, you know, line ourselves up to see stuff tomorrow. But, anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. We're having a great morning here in British Columbia. We'll uh, pick up with you guys in a little bit. It's like 37 degrees. So, anyway. To the air conditioned grocery store. Let's go. A brain freeze? You got a brain freeze? Yeah. Your double cup mm. in there, buddy. I got sea salt caramel fudge, which I've never even heard of. I had to get it. Anyway. I got peach sorbet. She accidentally gave me two cups, but overfilled the first one, so. <laughs> I don't want to lose any. And it's 37 degrees outside, so. Yeah, it's, it's very no hot. Past. Well, this could very well be camp tonight. It's not, uh, it's not anything too special, but it might just be the ticket. Um, so we're very close to Chase, uh, currently. Bikes are flying. Um, we're very close to Chase. Um, there's really not a whole lot of stuff as far as, like, I overlander camping nearby. This is a spot, though. This is actually the trailhead to the Flume Trails. But, uh, we're just gonna go over here, take a look at the trail map. Make sure that it doesn't say something like no camping overnight or no parking overnight. Um, and then we might just kind of take our chances. Help prevent the spread of invasive species, no fires, trail map. And then the history of the Flume Trail. So, oh, I personally don't see anything that says we can't stay here. All right, so this is pretty neat. It's the history of the Flume Trail, which is 
trail systems that this is the parking lot for. There's the beginning of the trails. So the town of Chase was a little tiny town, started in 1908. It was mainly an industrial town. Um, and basically this town, um, the very first thing had going for it was a big sawmill. Um, and basically the way that they kind of transported the wood through the woods, through the gullies, like from, from the Shushwap Lake down to where the mill is, was on a flume. So here is a picture of the flume, um, as you can tell. And it says that it's just a V-shaped flume, um, approximately five feet wide, and it was built in order to float the logs the 11 miles to the lower Adams River. So here's the Adams River. You can see the flume ends right here. It's really neat. And what they actually have is a flume right here. It says the logs were able to travel up to 11 miles in 15 minutes, which is, that's very fast. And essentially the way it worked was the log, this was the flume, and the logs were just kind of put down here and they slid down. I think they had some water in these as well just to help it kind of float down. But uh, anyway, that's super cool. Super simple technology, really no technology at all, but uh, but it worked. So it says that the, uh, the flumes actually were between 50 and 80 feet off the ground at times. Uh, this had to be in order to basically keep the same grade all the way down because the logs, they couldn't be going kind of down a, a, an inconsistent flume. The flume had to be very consistent. Um, so yeah, 50 to 80 feet off the ground in order to keep it at the same height going through the gullies. And it cost on average $12,000 per mile. And there was 11 miles of this. And this was back in the like 1920s. So $12,000 a mile in the 1920s, that's a lot. But anyway, that's super neat. Maybe for, uh, Anybody that's ever ridden the flume ride, this is, you know, some knowledge for you. This is kind of the technology behind it and where the flume ride got its name. So this is, this is the 1920 flume ride for the logs when they used to forest in this town. Do we have any eye boogers? Is that it? They look pretty now? Yeah. Cool, I'll put these on just in case. So we have our coffees made. We're gonna hit the road and make breakfast a little later. Um, and we're going to... We're going towards the Okanagan Valley today. <laughs> so I believe we're potentially at like the beginning of the Okanagan Valley right now, but uh, things are just going to get better from here. I believe the next stop is going to be... I think it goes Chase and then Salmon Arm. So yeah. we passed Chase yesterday. So we'll hit Salmon Arm and then... Grinrod. Oh, Grinrod. And B, And then we're going to go to Vernon. And then we're going to keep going down and we're going to hit Kelowna. Yeah. 
So that's the plan. We are just outside of Chase, uh, the beginning of the Okanagan Valley here. We're gonna go to Salmon Arm next, and then we are actually going to go over to the little town of Grinrod because we have some things we need to visit there. Becky's old family house. So, anyway, we're gonna get on the road here. We got a little bit of driving to do, and then we're gonna stop and eat some breakfast. We, uh, we tried to get an early start on the day. It's I was eight. out of bed at 7.45. It's 8.40. I did my part. I'll have to one up her tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Okay, we've been a bit, oops, we've been a bit poor with filming, but it's because we visited my old family's property and met the new owners and they've graciously lent us some kayaks to um, kayak down the river and then back to their place. So we've kind of been just chatting with them and haven't really had the camera, but we'll be filming now, so. We're in the town of Grinrod uh, in the Okanagan Valley, it's the true Swap River right here. So yeah, we've got about an hour and a half paddle, we've been told. Um, so let's do it. There's mountains all around us. Can't oh, smoky. you can kind of see them. Off we go. Let's get going. <laughs> Turkey because he didn't eat breakfast and it's like noon. So I just float down and wait for him. Here he comes though. Jeez, look at the wake you're creating, buddy. Anyway, we're just putting along. What a day. What a day. My face is so red, it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. So today's got nothing as planned at all, not even a little bit. No. So. But it's been really fun. It has um, been. Just meeting up with some old friends, I guess, really. Family friends who I met when I was very young. And now I'm 23 and they're meeting me again. <laughs> so it's, it's fun. Yeah, no, so we uh, we had a great day. We visited Becky's family's old property here in Grinrod. Grinrod. Um, so yeah, we actually, uh, the new owners let us use their kayaks. Yeah. We put the kayaks in actually where we're at right now, which is upstream, upriver. Uh, and we ended up kayaking back down to their property, which is about a two hour kayak. And uh, it was it was honestly really nice. And then mm -hmm. we spent the rest of the day on the nice sandy beach. Um, couldn't ask for a better day really the smoke mm. kind of rolled in now it's starting to it's starting to kind of rain ashes a little bit yeah but there's forest fires all around us it's so what happens if you don't know where grinrod is it's it's in amongst the okanagan valley yep 
so. So yeah, we're just gonna go grab some dinner at the Riverfront Pub, which is where my parents used to go. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Me too. Let's go. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm.